Hey, what's up everyone? Pase Baller here. This is the second game on April 16, 2024 in the West Play-In uh, Games. This is going to be number t number 9. That's going to be Sacramento Kings going up against number 10, Golden State Warriors. Uh, for those who ain't familiar with the play-in tournament format, whoever loses on this matchup says goodbye to the tournament, and whoever wins will go ahead and go forward and actually go up against the loser of the number 7 versus number 8 game. And I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account, Pase Baller, please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on that bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. But let's get back into it. And uh, actually, before we proceed, uh, for those who are actually uh, wanting to have some uh, premium picks or premium subscriptions, you can just actually reach us through Instagram. Telegram, WhatsApp, or even Messenger account. Just take a look at the descriptions of uh, these videos and you would see the details right there. For those who are also baseball fans or MLB, pan, MLB fans, we also provide premium picks for baseball. Right, so the spread that is given is minus 2.5. That's actually given towards Golden State Warriors. Now let's go ahead and try to break this one down. Um, Sacramento Kings, they ended up as the, you know, as the better team in terms of rankings. And so Sacramento Kings will actually enjoy the home court advantage. Now in terms of momentum, we got to give it to Golden State Warriors. Both teams actually ended up with a win in, uh, you know, in the uh, regular season. But in, uh, for their last 10 games, um, Golden State Warriors actually won 8. While for Sacramento Kings, they have only won 4 times. So again, in terms of momentum, we got to give it to Golden State Warriors. Now, in terms of uh, health and availability, um, seems like uh, even though Stephen Curry, Draymond Green, and Gary Payton are all in game time decision, um, seems like all of them are actually playing uh, playing in this uh, particular matchup. Unlike for Sacramento Kings, uh, where in Kevin Herter and Malik Monk, they are actually out of this matchup. So obviously, it's going to be Golden State Warriors who got some advantage in terms of health and availability. Now again, if you will try to break it down, um, it seems like Golden State Warriors actually got actually got the uh, the advantage over Sacramento Kings. Now the question is, why is it that the spread is not that much? By the way, the spread that is given is just minus two point five. Considering that uh, Golden State Warriors got the momentum, considering that Golden State Warriors. Um, it's the healthier team, then why is it that the cappers are just giving minus two point five spread? That's actually uh, that's actually a very good question. If you if you take a look at it, uh, how they did uh, for this season, they actually split uh, the series two two two, but the last two games that these two teams had uh, actually went on Sacramento's way. For their last two games that they had, both games were won by Sacramento Kings. And both were actually ultra close games. Uh, as a matter of fact, Sacramento Kings only won by one point on those last two games. So again, for me that's you know that's a very that's a very valid point as to why the spread was just minus two point five. Not only not only that Sacramento Kings they are actually at home as well. Now a lot of people are actually picking Golden State Warriors because of the fact that uh, Golden State Warriors ended up uh, you know, ended up with a very good momentum. Again, they they won eight out of their last ten. They're looking better. They're looking, you know, they're looking great. Um, but we have to, you know, we have to actually take take a look at as to who Golden State Warriors went up against with. Um, uh, you know, on their last games, they went up against Utah Jazz, Portland Trail Blazers. I mean, no disrespect to those teams. I mean, I love Portland Trail Blazers, right? But come on, of course, Golden State Warriors would actually win that. One. Um, I'm not sure if you guys actually watched the game Golden State Warriors versus Portland Trail Blazers. They even had a hard time um, figuring out Portland Trail Blazers. And when Sacramento Kings actually went up against Portland, you know, just like, I don't know, like a couple of days ago or maybe three, three nights ago. I forgot when. I guess the Kings actually defeated, like, defeated Portland for like 30 plus points. At one point, it even went as high as 40 plus points, right? What I'm saying is Sacramento Kings, they are simply the better team now. Um, Experience-wise, we got to give it to Golden State Warriors. They are world champions, you know, not just once, right? But 
I think Sacramento Kings would actually have their retribution. If not, at least this one would be close. You know, I mean, take a look at their last two games. Sacramento Kings uh, won by just one point on those last two games. So, if ever Golden State Warriors would win, um, I, feel, I feel like that minus 2.5 spread would still be covered by Sacramento. For me, Sacramento Kings will win um, will win, and can actually cover or at least can cover the, the spread because of their advantage in terms of um, rebounding and in terms of how they can dominate the paint. Golden State Warriors, obviously, you know, uh, they are very good in outside shooting, but not that, you know, not the same kind of Golden State Warriors that we know before. We have to admit that. But in terms of rebounding, in terms of defending the paint, they would have a huge problem going up against a bonus, going up against uh, Fox, you know, uh, if, you know, once he tries to get aggressive and once he tries to attack the basket. That's the main, you know, that's the main problem that Golden State Warriors um, has had in this particular season. Again, there's no, there's no, um, there's no problem in terms of them putting the ball inside the basket or scoring the ball. But again, rebounding and you know managing and defending the paint is actually something that is one of their huge problems. And that's actually uh, one thing that Sacramento Kings can try to you know can try to work on. So I'm gonna pick Sacramento Kings in here with a plus 2.5 spread. Um, I'm not gonna be surprised if they would actually win this one outright. But just to make sure, and you know, just to be a bit safe, I'll go ahead and take the plus 2.5 spread for the Kings. Again, my pick on this one would be Sacramento Kings plus 2.5. Again, that's Kings plus 2.5. Peace out, passe love, and God bless.